Hi everyone, welcome to an another unboxing video. Today we'll be looking at the Snapshot DTM bag by Marc Jacobs. This review will be detailed, informative, with some light humor. If you want to skip to the main product review, check the description below. Other than that, enjoy the video. Also, I did have a slight cold recording this, so I apologize for the light, rocky voice. I'm gonna remove this. I'm so glad I didn't, like, stab this box on my way through, like, opening this, because it was very aggressive. Like... Ugh. But so here we have the box. I love it. It's so clean. And I have saw other unpackaging videos and people would order it from Neiman Marcus. This is directly from the Mark Jacobs website. So very happy. Black bottom, white top. All right. And then we go open her up. Ooh. Okay. So that's a bit everywhere. Because you deserve it. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So if you guys saw my other, my first unpackaging video, I did another note to myself. You can do that also with the Marc Jacobs uh, orders online. So it comes in a beautiful, clean, expensive, no, this was free, uh, card. And it says, because you deserve it. And I love how just, bam, how bold that is. Here is my itinerary, not itinerary, just a lot of plain stuff, but that's the orders and wow okay and here is the bag and all the packaging okay so it's not fully unwrapped but as you can see it's very well packaged uh safely the metal uh hardware here is protected with um some foam so that's very good so it didn't get scratched up and while it was sliding around obviously it was already protected by the plastic but that's very reassuring it's also only on one side so that's cool oh it came off look at that J for Jacobs. And um, I'll explain this uh, new emblem later. So here it is in its all black beauty. This is the Marc Jacobs Snapshot DTM bag. I'm still trying to figure out what DTM is. He hasn't clarified what it means. But basically, um, this ready to wear uh, bag and accessory collection was inspired by, or I guess referencing cameras. So it's supposed to be like a camera bag. I'm pretty sure the only cameras would fit in this are like the digital cameras, which is, I mean, I know people still use them, but I mean, everyone has an iPhone, but people do what they want to do. I'm pretty sure you could fit some cool disposables in here. You could definitely use this. I love the straps because it totally reminds me of photographer straps. Um, I used to do like as a hobby film photography, and I know plenty of friends that are photographers and videographers. And this strap is insane. Like, if I would show them the strap collection they have on the website, they would go nuts. But this is the bag. It's funny. So this is a new... <clears throat> a lot of brands, like, to not Toy Brick, uh, Burberry. And there's another brand. But a lot of new brands last fall and winter were doing a lot of new monochrome. They, like, putting names all over. I'm pretty sure it started last fall and they brought it back into the summer. Having uh, brands repeat their names all over. So, I'm not sure if that's a trend this year. People aren't really, you know, making a big deal about fashion considering we can't leave the house uh, and show it off. Even though, you know, it is July and uh, quarantine is uh, fluctuating. So, that's interesting. But yeah, here is the Marc Jacobs. So, going back to, I did uh, some very light research. And apparently the, the Marc Jacobs is a bit of a rebranding. Basically, we want to do with the ready-to-wear accessories and clothing was to make it more item-y. I guess more fake it, but I think it adds a different emphasis. So like, it's not just a bag, it's the bag. So it's, I guess, a bit more objectifying and glorifying it in like a more funny way. Whatever rebranding it is, I like it. I thought it's interesting to put a the, I mean, that makes a difference. And uh, a lot of the other accessories, like the tote bag, the uptown bag, it literally says like, they'll put the, in a, like it labels on the bag. A lot of designers don't do that. Like on the bag itself, it won't say, like the saddle bag. I was considering ordering the uptown bag, but literally on the uptown bag it has on there. But let's get more into the specs and uh, the beauty of this bag. So, uh, according to the website, this is seven inches long, four inches wide in width, and then thickness, <laughs> thickness, it's two inches wide. So, honestly, it is a pretty small bag. It's almost like the size of a clutch, but just wide. Um, over here we have the J's. Um, it's called the Snapshot Bag. And honestly, I'm not sure if a lot of people notice this, but if you go on the corner of the Snapchat where you flip the camera, it's a very similar um, design, except it doesn't have the arrows. So hopefully a lot of people caught that, and I wonder if Mark made that on purpose. And I'm surprised there hasn't been any allegations, even though it's like 
literally just an icon symbol but i think it was very clever to call it the snapshot the snapshot bag and it's a camera bag and it has like the flip the camera symbol even though it's just j for jacobs so it has two zippers um i'm pretty sure this is a leather um this is all leather i'm not sure if it's real or not if it is i apologize i'm usually for the animals but this was a really nice bag we have the very thick strap adjustable we'll look into that later um, and we do have the back pouch, um, usually for cash, money, <laughs> cash, money. Um, but tip, I probably won't be using it that much because I know, knowing me, stuff flies out. Pockets, purses, bags, so I don't have the best luck. You know, a little packaging for you. Here we have the Marc Jacobs stamp into there, into the leather. Also, this is an interesting fabric, or not fabric material. It's not like a flat, smooth one it's like you could kind of see like a, a like a thread count or maybe that's just you know the way the leather works i thought that was very interesting i found the get out of there you oh that's so bad i just did that more packaging i think this is the dust bag there she is there you go and i think that's you know for, i get not for collectors but store look at that oh beautiful them are gay gabby so, ooh, there's some dust on it, probably for me. And this is the space you have. Here's the back side, which has more of that fun stuff. Here's what they look like. Oh, so here's one of my favorite parts of the video. So we're going to see what actually fits in the Mario Jacobs Snapshot DTM bag, because one of the reviews and issues that a lot of people have said about this product, despite its cleanliness and its nice little chic look <clears throat> look excuse me is how, what can actually fit within it because on the website it does look kind of small especially on those very tall models um it's like well, how does that look on a you know a good five seven person not to expose myself so here we have my wallet that's gonna go in the front we have my mirror that's still working Ooh, she's getting kind of thick in here we have <laughs> i guess we'll put a pen in there and then this, okay, this is not my phone, obviously, because I'm recording with my phone. But this is an old LG phone that looks like an iPhone, but then that's where, you know, looks good from the front, but bad in the back. That fits in the back. Um, and it's already a pretty tight in there. Oh, <laughs> my inhaler. Does she fit in there? Ooh, it's kind of snug and getting a little overfilled. And, okay, so that, okay, that is literally the length of the bag. And I don't want to overfill it. I'm pretty sure I could just put my wallet in my back pocket, even though the point of a bag is to put all your crap in it. But here is what it looks like. I'm going to take out the inhaler. So here is the bag with um, a good amount of what I usually carry everywhere in a small, like, fanny pack. Um, so now I can see what the complaints were. Not that I'm having a big problem with it. Like, it makes sense. It's a small um, bag. But you really can't fit too much in here. Like, a phone, your wallet, if you have, like, a normal wallet um you know some beauty products if that's the case um my inhaler i'm probably just you know i don't even carry that in anyways even though i should because i could die any moment but um yeah it's very much a small bag oh inside so this is the front pocket and this is the back so the back is obviously more flat and there's like a little smaller side pocket inside or inner pocket um and it says inside the snapshot mark jacobs so that's what the interior of the bag looks like one of the bigger notes that i saw in other videos of people reviewing this bag is that it is a interesting proportion bag so it's a small bag with a very large and long strap honestly i think it's very i guess versatile you know we love a good versatile but for especially in a time that we have that's more diverse with all body shapes and sizes don't worry about those two epi pens because you know you gotta have that back up but literally i think it's like for a you know a bigger person or a smaller person it's very adjustable so i think that's a very you know way to look at it obviously it's very sporty it's very clean it's honestly a dress up dress down bag i like it mainly because of the monochromatic strap it's very subtle. They had so many different options, but I had to go with the all black because, it, you know, black never fades. Um, it's like the best thing ever when it comes to fashion. Oh, so, this is just for a reference to my body. Not the best angle, not the best lighting because it is still early in the morning. And uh, this is what I work with that looks the most professional. This is my bedroom wall. 
So, but yeah, here is the bag on me. For reference, I am a 5'7", five, 5'7 seven, five, seven and a half. I'm very short, unfortunately. That's why I wear high heels sometimes. But on my body, I'm wearing all black shirts. It's kind of hard to look at the bag, but this is what it looks like. As you can see, it is very small. Like, it's literally the length of my hand. Um, but <clears throat> I think that's the point. If you, you know, look at the, if, the website and the models, you know it's going to be a small camera bag. Like, if it was 2004, you could totally fit, like, a Canon in here or a disposable camera in here. But maybe that's why it's called the camera bag, because it looks like a camera. Probably not. But, um, I like it a lot. This is my first, uh, you know, designer bag. I like it a lot, especially for something starter. If I can't really use a handbag, because it doesn't really go with what I wear. And two, this is gonna be something I'm probably gonna take everywhere, um, despite, you know, going camping and stuff. If I'm going out, they're like, what is with that strap? I'm like, oh, you didn't know? It's Marc Jacobs. No, not that cocky. But <clears throat> no, I'm obsessed with this. I find it funny that the one time I needed a still shot, it's on my face. And uh, as a conceited person, I, I, I kind of like it. But, um, Overall, I think this is a very cool bag. It's very, even though it's last summer, I think it's a very sporty, modern, you know, ready-to-wear streetwear bag. You know, if especially if you're a photographer. I mean, you already have a camera to carry on and a backpack and all that stuff. But if you want to, like, mix some fashion with your photography and your equipment and your gear, this is a very fun bag. Regarding uh, costs, so this was $325.00. On the website, but um, you could also look at other websites like Neiman Marcus, uh, Saks, or any other the department store. Um, the Marc Jacobs website, which I ordered this from, actually did offer a student discount. So if you look it up on their search bar, type in discount, and I think it's, I believe, 10% off. And that made a big difference, especially with tax, because um, if I did it without the discount, it would be like 340 350 because you know sales tax even though shipping was free after the 10 percent off my, this went from 325 to three dollars 315 dollars so even though it's like ten dollars off if you look at the tax and everything it's still like 20 30 dollars off which is a big difference um i'm really happy with it there's also a lot of other mark jacobs bags that are different costs so with this snapshot bag some of the more colorful ones actually do cost are cheaper. So not cheaper, but this one probably costs the most of the collection. Um, a lot of the other colorful rainbow, more patterned ones actually are, um, are at a lower price, which I found interesting, but I do realize that with any brand, if it's all black, if it's all um, chrome, it's the most probably chic in the one that people want the most. So this definitely was, uh, I could see why this one was 325. The other ones are like 295. Um, also the soft shot bag, which is the, it has the J hardware or the, uh, camera hardware. It comes in a thinner strap and it's actually a more bigger bag, like probably like an inch or two inches and it does make a bigger difference. So, um, that's something for you guys to look at. For those wanting to consider purchasing this bag, I definitely, um, <clears throat> you know, I would get it if you want to try out something new. This is, like I said, it's my first uh, designer crossbody, and it is a smaller one compared to any other thing. But I love it. I'm going to try it out. You know, if you guys like this sort of video, I know it's very wordy and long. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, share. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to have more diverse videos instead of just unboxing videos. I'm going to discuss, you know, issues and topics around fashion, probably a lot, a couple more comedy stuff because I like putting that all in there. But Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful, fantastic, and lovely day.